from our previous class we're able to learn how to convert numbers from base 2 to base 10 and so this class we're doing the reverse case right and that brings us to talk about decimal numbers what are decimal numbers we already spoke about them in the previous class but i would run through them quickly again so decimal numbers are also known as the numbers in base 10 which can also be called the denary numbers. We said these are numbers that we use every day of our lives all over the world. This is the number system that is commonly used. So you could think of any number on the top of your head. It is a decimal number. 259, 56, 10, 54. <laughs> any number you can think of right now, 195, any number you can think of is a decimal number in most cases we do not write the subscripts we don't indicate the base because everybody is supposed to know that it's in base 10. does that make sense all right let's just get right into the examples right let's convert 5 base 10 to base 2 right this is how you go about converting from base 10 to base 2. now you see that it's giving us a division value as compared to when we converted base 2 to base 10 which gave us a multiplication value if you saw our previous video you'll get what i mean but let's move on so you have something like this and you're asked to convert to base 2 we want to divide through by 2 so you say 2 in 5 that's 2 remainder 1 right 2 again 2 in 2 that's 1 remainder 0 2 divide like 1 divided by 2 or 2 in 1 impossible right remainder 1 so once you get to this point where you have 0 here remainder 1 just take your arrow upwards right so this gives you 5 to base 10 is counting from below z 1 0 1 base 2 this is as simple as it can get right convert 24 base 10 to base 2 of course you know you do this first put 24 and then use 2 to divide through so 2 in 2 is 1 2 in 4 is 2 remainder 0 right so 2 in 12 is 6 remainder 0 2 in 6 is 3 remainder 0 2 in 3 is 1 remainder 1 2 in 1 is 0 remainder 1 Remember, you're counting from down, up. So 24 to base 10 gives you what? 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, base 2. And that's your answer. As always, we always have something for you to do at the end of the class. So why not let us know what your answer is in the comment section. And of course, if you have any questions, as always, let us know in the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't, like, share, tell a friend to tell a friend. So we're here. The School of Mathematics Nigeria is here to help. Alright, until the next class. Bye.